iOS 16.1 is officially out to the general public and this means that if you have a supported device you can easily go into your settings and go to general and be able to perform a software update to iOS 16.1. This update sometimes can tend to be a big and substantial update. The update size is expected to be somewhere between 5 0.5 gigs to 8 gigs and currently the build number i have on hand if i go to settings and then go to general and software update you can see that uh, yes i am up to date and also if i go to the about you see that the build number i have is 20b79 so that being the build number let's talk about some of the new features and changes that are here the first one has to do with the battery section if you have some of the following iphones so for the iphone xr iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 mini as well as iPhone 13 mini you can see that now with this update iOS 16.1 you get the option to show the battery percentage you see how I have turned mine off if I turn it on you see now what battery percentage I have before on iOS 16 the iPhone XR and the iPhone 11 as well as the mini series were left out but this update finally adds support for those devices and it does not end there when it comes to the battery settings or changes that are here if you click where it says battery health and charging for specific selected countries where this feature is available like the USA you now soon be able to get low carbon footprint or a more efficient and green energy charging options once they become available for canada for some reason where i am this is not an option but if you're in the us or uk or australia or some other regions you can always check this section once you've updated your device now this update too adds support for meta in the home app and meta if you don't know what it is it's a new smart homes connectivity standard that allows for interconnectivity between home devices made by different manufacturers so apple might have for example a home pod or an apple tv 4k that just came that by the way supports meta amazon might have its own samsung and google might have their own home devices that you have uh, like in your home and this will basically allow them to be able to connect more easily so this is supported in ios 16.1 and you can see here when you open up the home screen for the first time you get this plus screen that tells you what's new how you can control your home how you can set it and forget it and share access by means of digital keys now what doesn't end there too there are updates when i go to my control center or section here you can see the home section has expanded by itself and it says accessories and scenes you add in the home app will appear here and you have a shortcut to open up the home application that's something that's good you can see here if i go to where it says wallpaper in the settings section it makes it easier to be able to tell how your lock screen is going to look and how your home screen is going to look if you want to customize like your lock screen you can just customize that section or if you want to customize your home section you can customize that and they've made it easier and to be able to tell and if you also set as a current wallpaper one that has a dark theme you will be able to notice that the dynamic island if you do something that and requires the dynamic island to be active you can see that it gets an outline now so you can see the outline border of the dynamic island if you swipe on it it disappears if you swipe on it or tap on it again you can see how the outline comes out now that's something that's good and one of the main changes that's here with ios 16.1 is that it tries slightly to improve the battery performance of those devices that were having a terrible outcome when it comes to ios 16 so this one hopefully should be able to give you a little bit of better performance when it comes to the battery now also that just as you can see here when it comes to live activities for your lock screen and for your dynamic island apple has added support for this for live activities for even third party applications so if you are following like a live game or match and you wanted to have the option to be able to show up in the dynamic island that is something that's possible and more third party applications once they come on board and 
do enable this feature you'll be able to see them there and you'll be able to add it as a feature now also it doesn't end there when it comes to fitness i'll be happy to let you know that when you open up the fitness app and go to fitness plus now you don't actually require an apple watch to be able to begin a subscription or to have a subscription so this is something that apple is changing to try and push more people towards fitness and when it comes to the photos section if you go into your photos app and try to share a specific photo you can see that you have the option to be able to share it for your icloud shade library and that is a new update that's here so shared library with for icloud is now available you can always go into your settings and then go to your profile your icloud profile and then set it on as a feature and those are mainly the new features and changes that are here there are some fixes that this update does introduce or try to fix and the first one has to do with messages where sometimes messages that were deleted within the messages app or edited were not making changes or you would delete a message and the end user even though they are on ios 16 and later they will still be able to see the message that has been deleted so that has been fixed and also changes when it comes to the dynamic island where when you enter reachability there were issues where sometimes you swipe down and the dynamic island would still be on top so that issue has been fixed you can see you can still interact with it when you use reachability and it fixes an issue when it comes to carplay where sometimes it may fail to connect when you have a vpn connection that it has been enabled so those are the new features and changes as well as bug fixes here with ios 16.1 one if you do like this video please leave a like and if you find something interesting that you want to share comment it down below now stay safe and i will see you in the next video peace